Welcome to Cody and Davina's Video Drum. I'm Cody. I'm Davina. And today we saw Atomic Blonde. Oh my god, I think I love you. That's too bad. Reach out, so Atomic Blonde's awesome. Uh, in a word. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to keep it really short, we can cut this review right now. It's really awesome. Just go see it. Totally cool movie. Up front, though, it's not one for the kids. This is a no. hard. This is a hard R. Yeah. But it is such such a fun movie, and the world that you're dropped in, yes. the world it builds, is yes. just so excellent. It's so good. Very. Uh, so it's a spy thriller. If you didn't know from the trailers, uh, set in uh, November 1989, Berlin. It's so based on a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Coldest City. Yeah. That's the name of the graphic novel. Yep. And uh, Charlize Theron's the main character. It's really uh, her movie, beginning to end. It's She's so good in it. Uh, like, really, no need to think about who to cast for the female James Bond if they ever decide to do it. Just cast her. Yeah, people have been saying that this movie is like the female James Bond, but I think it's grittier than any it, James Bond movie we've ever seen. Yeah. And it's just, I, I appreciate it. For, you know that much more for being just like it's it's pretty violent mm -hmm. um and just it's gritty yeah yeah uh so good i it's it's really uh it kind of reminded me a little bit of john wick in that it was very i mean lots of headshots lots of action lots of fighting that was very brutal it was not it didn't hold back uh and yeah uh it was She's totally badass all the way through the movie. It was really cool. Like, you, you mentioned uh, Wonder Woman being the kind of pinnacle of... Yeah, if you guys watched our Wonder Woman review, you saw how excited I was. And, to, yeah. You know, just, like, punching and kicking everything. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But this So, this movie didn't really make me want to go pick fights because, unlike Wonder Woman, she's not a demigod. So, <laughs> it was... I really, really enjoyed the realistic fight scenes. Like, when she took a punch and it was guttural, it knocked her back. And she, right. she wasn't just, like, deflecting with her gauntlets. And, <laughs> um, there was a lot of... There's... There is one really, really good fight scene that's just, like, a constant tracking shot. And... Yeah. There... The... The fight like it just you see the physical exhaustion from the energy they're exerting yeah, just the beating yeah. the crap out of each other yeah and did you guys know that a water hose is a weapon because it is <laughs> and apparently hot plates and anything within reach mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> which, which was Corkscrews, really awesome. ice picks <laughs> yeah i mean everything was a weapon in this movie it was fantastic I, there was literally one scene where there's all this stuff on the floor and she looks at an onion and i was like she's gonna kill a guy with an onion <laughs> and it would have been totally believable <laughs> but yeah it that was that was an interesting. It was it was a, the fight scenes were so well choreographed. And yeah, you're right about the tracking shots. Good God, the way this whole movie is shot, very very pretty. Uh, cinematography is excellent. The tracking shots are long and tight, and the well, fight sequences. It's and when awesome. It's, when it's not in a fight sequence, there's just this excellent excellent use of lighting mm -hmm. because it's the late '80s and we've got these neon lights everywhere yeah. and just little details like that. Um, and another detail that should not be overlooked in the movie is the fashion. Oh, she, yeah. The outfits are just, just so on point, and they're just, they help put you in the world mm -hmm. yeah, even her, more. Yeah, her, she is so stylish through the whole movie, on top of being a total badass. It's, it's really, it, it, it makes you envious, almost, <laughs> of the, of the style that she has. It's so good, all monochromatic, and just excellent, like... It, it it's really cool and it puts you in that world uh probably almost as much as the excellent soundtrack to the movie the soundtrack is amazing it, if you like new new wave 80s stuff i mean it is it, it it hits interesting you know remixes of hits and then some stuff that was unexpected uh I, we knew the soundtrack was going to be just great, though, because of the trailers. Yeah. And the music that they used in the trailer was such a good mashup. Yeah. Yeah. They used, so, uh, what was it, Kanye West Black Skinheads mixed with Depeche, Depeche, Depeche Mode? Mode. Personal Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that's right. In one of the trailers, at least, they used that. That was excellent. And the movie continues with that. Uh, it's uh, one of the most interesting things 
it's all new wave stuff, and then suddenly I'm hearing Ministry, and I was like, this is Stigmata, and I was like, fantastic, they have Ministry. I look it up, it's not Ministry, actually, it's Marilyn Manson and Tyler Bates who did the score covering Ministry Stigmata, and it's freaking awesome. So that was an interesting little thing, and of course you've got, you know, 99 Luft Balloons and uh, London Calling, Politics of Dancing, you've got a lot David, of good David, hits. Yeah, you got David Bowie and... Um, yeah. Got under pressure over the credits. Yeah, yeah. Movie and, movie ends with under pressure, which is so so cool. And and yeah, and uh, we talked a lot about Charlize Theron, but rest of the cast is really good too. Uh, James McAvoy is really good in the movie, kind of unhinged a little bit, like he's been in some other movies. Uh, but uh, very yeah. cool. Uh, John Goodman's in the movie, playing a typical kind of John Goodman character, but he does that well. Um, so. So yeah, Atomic Blonde, really excellent movie, really good action film, really great spy movie, uh, totally cool. I didn't come out of it wanting to pick fights with people, but I might want fringe bangs. So we'll see how that <laughs> plays out. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, if, you, if, if you're if you even even remotely interested based on the trailers of Atomic Blonde, go see the movie. It's really good. We both really enjoyed it. And if you liked our review, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Catch you later, guys.